Hello, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how we doing? You're listening to the Greenlight Weekend Podcast, and I am your host, Brian Nystrom. Um, happy Friday. I know last week's episode was a little late, but I ended up staying down with the fam for an extra day, and uh, it was one of the better decisions I've made in a while because we just shot guns for hours, just beer and guns. I fucking love being a redneck. I love it when all the family gets together and everybody busts their gun safes open and fucking puts everything together and we just shoot shit for a long time. Uh, my dad got a new assault shotgun. Uh, he has a five and a 10 round clip, I believe. And it is one of the funnest things I've ever done. Just throw up three clay pigeons and fucking bam, bam, bam. You can Just keep pulling the trigger and it keeps fucking going. It's pretty cool. I'm thinking about getting myself one of those. Why do I need an assault shotgun? I fucking don't, but I want one because I'm a goddamn redneck and I love it. Red-blooded American. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling a little silly. I'm a little tired. Usually I'm like invigorated after a workout, but I did legs this morning. Squats, deadlifts, all that jazz, and I am exhausted. Um, Hopefully it'll come back around. I got shit to do today. But not before I get this podcast out on time. Um, before we get going, I want to thank our sponsors, Dead Room Comedy. Um, as you know, Dead Room Comedy is a comedy group and production company based in Denver, Colorado. It is made up of four very funny stand-up comedians. Um, I think they are planning on doing some shows in Durango soon. So if you're in Durango, look forward to that. I will be announcing it. Hopefully I'll be involved, at least in a hosting capacity, helping them find a venue all that jazz but i love dead room comedy uh they've supported us um so go support them go follow them on any of their social media platforms at dead room comedy they have a youtube channel called dead room comedy where they put out new videos each and every monday they are hilarious it's one of the few things i stop scrolling to actually watch so uh check those out i think they're very impressive very funny very creative and i'm honestly a little jealous at their ability to like execute these over and over again in a funny way that keeps me entertained they all have different themes they're a very creative group together and uh i'm just appreciative they exist and that they sponsor this podcast so go support dead room comedy oh deadroomcomedy.com um at the end of every video they have sinbad they paid him 60 bucks to do a read and uh he kind of shits on their name which is hilarious but at the end of every video you get to hear sinbad or read the quote or whatever it is Um, Before we get into this week's episode, I would like to thank Bianca Rodriguez for the art. Um, You could call it fan art, I guess, but she's more just a friend of the pod. She's, uh, I love her. She's awesome. She's a very good comic out of Tucson, Arizona. Go give her a fall. Her name is Bianca Rod... Follow. Uh, Her name is Bianca Rodriguez. I believe her handle is Bianca Marie. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it in the description for this one to thank her for the art. All right, let's get into this podcast. This podcast is one of the better ones we've done in a long time with one of my favorite people in the world, Tony Brune, out of Tucson, Arizona. He was in town to headlight the Starlight Lounge. Headline the Starlight Lounge. Holy shit, squats fucked me up. I can't talk. Oh, well, we're not doing it again. You know how many times I've done this, like four or five times, the intro, just because I'm flubbing words and I'm embarrassed and whatever? I don't care anymore. Um, This is what it is. I'm doing my best, so fucking accept it or don't, all right? Um, but yeah, Tony Brun was here. He brought down his homie Whittles. Whittles is like a three-year comic. He brought him down in kind of a feature capacity and he was good. He was funny. Um, they were super good hang. They ended up, uh, staying here that night and we got fucked up. Yeah. It was the first time I've stayed up till the wee hours of the morning in quite some time. And it affected me. I didn't go to the gym the next day. I barely did shit. I was supposed to go cut firewood, but I didn't. So now I have to get a BLM land permit and go down to New Mexico to cut the rest of my firewood. But oh well, I had a fucking blast. Hanging out with comics is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, Just uninhibited conversation. We kind of get into it like in the podcast, but we're still all very aware that it's going to be posted on the internet. Um, When we're not recording, that's when the wildest shit you've ever heard is said and my abs were sore from laughing. I have not worked out my abs, and they've been sore for three days. So that's how much fun we had. Um, yeah, Tony Brune is here. Whittles is here. Whittles didn't want me to tag him in any of this because he's got a good job or whatever. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to tag Tony Brune. Check all his links in the description. He's headlining in Tucson. Um, yeah, he's headlining next month, so uh, check him out, especially if you're in the Tucson area. 
Uh, yeah, we had a really fun podcast. Talk mad shit. Um, Tony's legally blind. If you don't know, and we talk about it, he makes fun of it. It's awesome. He's a he's a special dude, man. He's been doing comedy for like seven, eight years, and he's fucking hilarious. I'm just happy to be friends with him. It was a pleasure watching him do a 30 minute set at the Starlight. We all had pretty good night, and it was a good turnout for the crowd. So it, I would say it was a successful trip. Maybe they spent more money than they made, but they had a good fucking time. I guarantee it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's give a quick shout out to Ethan Esparza and the Chava people for the intro outro music. They've been with us since day one. I'm so appreciative for the free music. Um, it's a day of gratitude over here. I'm just appreciative for everybody that's willing to fucking be associated with me because I work hard. Um, I try to stay consistent and even though all the podcasts aren't always bangers, um, it's not for lack of trying. Just know that. And Hey, you got to break a few eggs and make an omelet, baby. Not every comedy set I do is good, but I keep trucking. So, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, a very special episode. This is episode 162 of my boy Whittles and Tony Broom. A soundboard. Oops. Need a soundboard with some weird sound. Wah, on it. Wah, I've thought wah. about it, bro. It's a little hacky, but it's definitely hacky. But oh, that I is too. That. I forgot yeah. about that button. Uh, yeah. You still have the rubber duck? I do. <laughs> rubber duck. It's more of a stress ball situation. Yeah, I like it for a nervous <laughs> guest. You know what I mean? Seems to work. I don't know. Yeah, just like a fidget spinner. Spinner. Or something. Fidget spinner. F- fidget spinner. Were you saying your friend just got on Kill Tony? Uh, he was on Kill Tony a couple months ago. That's why he moved to Austin. Oh, nice. Because Tony told him that he should move out there, so he did. Nice. I bet I watched it. I mean, yeah, it was I watched Christina P. and uh, Tony. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and uh, Ali got them all laughing, so. Yeah, he did the Ben Shapiro impression. Oh, his Ben Shapiro oh, impression? I, yeah, I do remember really that. Yeah. yeah, he was fucking hilarious. He fucking Fuck crushed yeah. it. Yeah. Killing it. Shout out to Ali Musa. Yeah, shout out to Ali. Hype. He's probably one of the... Other than me, ego boost on my part. Other than, me, <laughs> one, other than me, one of the harder working comics in Tucson. Or when he was in Tucson, anyway. Yeah, but he came out of Tucson. Yeah, he came out of Tucson. He's in Austin. I was supposed to go with him. It just didn't work out, so. Bummer. Yeah, it, big bummer. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean. I mean, it's fine. I'm still getting booked. And the odds are so tough getting on that show. I mean, I've, I've thought about taking trips just to sign up for Kill Tony. It's I like mean, my favorite shit. I wouldn't right. do Kill Tony, though. Really? I wouldn't. You wouldn't sign up? No. Why? It's a minute. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not saying I couldn't kill in a minute. I think you but could. But I know I could. It's just not. Yeah. I don't know. It's not for me. Man. Just start. Just a sick. My name's also 60. Tony. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Open with that, and yeah. then a hot sixty seconds of blind jokes. Yeah. yeah. I could do that. I know I could do that. I know you could. I know at Skankfest, apparently their line was all the way around. Like. I believe it. I believe long. that too, especially for Skankfest, though. Did Did you watch the roast of Luis J. Gomez? No. No, I wasn't. Pretty fucking good. I Shane Gillis it. is. Shane Gillis He's like is my new notch, favorite. Dude. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. like the wasn't fr- he in Bisbee a while ago? Oh yeah, I yeah. believe it. Yeah. yeah, the first time I like tried to watch his special, uh, I just heard it came out like he was on Rogan oh, or whatever, yeah. and I watched it and I just didn't quite like. I didn't have his flow. Like I, I wasn't familiar enough for him yeah. to enjoy it as much as I would. And then I heard him on everybody else's podcast, got to know him kind of. Yeah. And then I watched it again, and I was dying laughing. Like oh, Shane yeah. Gillis and Tim Dillon are two like the two top ones that I've like as far as this year goes. I'm like I really had to like pay attention to more. Like Tim Dillon is fucking hilarious to me. I don't know why yeah. that dude. I love him. Like, yeah, Sam great. Talent just featured for him. Sam Talent's coming York. to Tucson. Yeah, is he? Talent, yeah, yeah, he. Uh, well, I don't know if I can say that. Can I say it? Uh, yeah, screw it. Whittles book, <laughs> Whittles, Whittles book Sam Town. Nobody right listens there. to this. Who yeah, gives yeah. a fuck? Yeah. Whittles got to book him for our Tucson show out there. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's he did awesome. Durango. I did, actually oh, got to host it. Yeah. Nice, oh, nice. Awesome. It was yeah. right when his book came out. Cool. Oh, that's sick. Definitely. Yeah, that book is pretty cool. One of the most interesting books I've ever read. I just like, like the name. Fear and Loathing. Yeah. The name is perfect. Running the Running Light. Running the Light. Oh, just like Whittles. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't Whittles. It was the other guy. So oh, yeah, it was the other guy. I was trying no. to call back, but I fucked up a yeah. joke. See how that works? Yeah, you did it reverse. I have the other issue where I get off stage before the light. You know? Yeah, but you're also still like newish. So. What's, uh, what's the opposite of Running the Light? 
getting not, off early? Uh, yeah. Not taking all your time. Premature. Yeah. Not earning your money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unbookable. You, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> Every once in a while. It's rare. I mean, I'm getting paid tonight, so. Oh, nice. Hell, yeah. yeah. I hosted last week. I got paid. Oh, yeah. And I met a knight. Ooh, yeah, that, that, yeah, that sounds yeah. awesome. It was cool. And he was a giant. Like, when he took his fucking helmet off he was just a giant bald dude with his bushy ass beard like exactly what you're hoping for <laughs> oh, yeah. you know what i mean it was old man yeah. jenkins <laughs> yeah. i'm just curious as to what kind of padding he had like in the armor on his uh, noggin he just lubed it up dude it was, uh, all it was. his head was shiny as shit yeah. but i assumed <laughs> it was sweat up, man did uh he walk in with a sword he they did let, they let he him let in me with hold a sword? it he, they let him in with a sword. this is durango baby he, he oh, also man. let the bartender hold the sword oh yeah. who was the only employee on staff so i feel like that helped i'm yeah. telling you right now what durango is bisby with money bro like, <laughs> you are you are gonna love it he's gonna crush you tonight i can't wait to watch him do his set i'm excited man yeah. i'm gonna sign up last on the mic just so i can yeah dude, try to be... catch that wave try to set him up for you it's gonna yeah. be fun I'm I'm super excited to be back and be back here for the podcast too. Like I was super excited about that about that. Yeah, you hit me up and I was like, "Fuck yeah, yeah bro!" Dude. I kind of forgot that. Um, I knew you were coming this month, but I kind of forgot that I what forgot. time <laughs> in the month it was, you know. And my family came in from Denver for Thanksgiving. Like my cool cousins, they brought a shitload of shotguns and stuff. Nice. And Just shooting for a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. And the rest of my family, like both my brother in laws, are like straight cowboys. Like grew up rodeo, and yeah. my dad's redneck as fuck, and now he has money, so he just has all these cool guns. He just <laughs> ATVs got an- and all that. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 He just it. got an assault shotgun. <laughs> what? Oh, those are awesome. Throw three clay pigeons out there, bro. <laughs> 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 awesome. <laughs> those. By far one of the more exhilarating days I've had. We are going to try and talk yeah. to people in Denver to get booked out there. Yeah, it's so funny. People say money can't buy happiness, but it mm-hmm. definitely can buy you a golf cart. That's for sure. It can buy you a lot of cool Fucking shit. Golf yeah. yeah. Tosh had that joke. Is that a yeah. Tosh joke? Yeah, Tosh had that joke. Uh-huh. It's like, they say money can't buy happiness, but have you tried to frown on a wave runner? Oh, uh, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. You can try, but it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just sold my jet ski because there's no oceans out here. Well, I mean, there's lakes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. That's cool too. I've never jet skied in the ocean. It sounds risky as shit, but I'm into it. Yeah, like, it's fun. Yeah, that does sound really risky. And every time I've been on a jet ski, I flip the motherfucker. Everything oh, really? I shouldn't have been able to do, I've done, except for drive a car. Mm. Like I've I've done jet ski. I've uh, my favorite story was um, I got to drive drunk uh, a golf cart. <laughs> Hell yeah! It was awesome. Turns out it's way easier when there's no one else on the road with you. Right. Yeah. Super. They fun. put you on the road? No, it was the golf course. Oh, right? yeah. I'd put you in the middle of a fucking nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, it was awesome. I was just like, uh, 15 miles is all I need to do on you, by the way. You know, it's, like, it's, right. it's fast enough for me. I, was, I felt like Top Gun at that time. I was like, this is the shit. Yeah, you felt the wind oh, blowing yeah. through your lesbian my hair. Yeah, my lesbian <laughs> hair. That's right. I knew I should have got a haircut before I got here. You look great, <laughs> bro. I look, look like, I, I do look like a lesbian. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I have a lesbian cousin who looks just like me. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. I have two there's two transgender comics now male okay. in Durango oh, and nice. I get mistaken for both of them and it pisses <laughs> me off because they're stealing my swag. Like this is how I've looked forever. Yeah, yeah. now they're male. And they're You've changing been male. They're changing into me and they're making jokes about like I wish I could grow facial hair. Bitch, I've thought that for ten years. <laughs> now, now when do we start shitting on, on the trans for like being like part of the patriarchy now you're a part of the problem like when mm. do we start doing that i do like that i like i mean premise. no no if you want it's not a premise it's just what like if if all men are shit which we're taught to believe growing mm-hmm. up that we're pieces of shit you should now have an overflow of shit talking you should really want to commit suicide more and more uh, uh, the more you become a male you know i mean? think that's why they become a male so they don't <laughs> don't want to do the suicide thing yeah, I don't know. That's just my premise. Here, I'm already going to get canceled. I'm like 10 minutes yeah. into this podcast. Eh, you're still doing 30 tonight. This That's doesn't true. come out till Friday, baby. Boom. <laughs> you still do time tonight. <laughs> this is the worst part of the podcast is I have people in, and the podcast never comes out early enough to promote it. Oh, you know what I mean? oh yeah. Like, well, you missed a great show, listeners. <laughs> you did. <laughs> there was a night fucking Scooby-Doo yeah. showed up. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo showed up. Yep. <laughs> it was some wild, wacky things happened. Yeah. That you were Two miss. wild and crazy guys. Yeah. All the way from Tucson. Yeah, but I am happy to be back on this podcast. This was this is a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm happy to have you, man. Yeah. I I need a guest every week, and honestly, with the the stable of comics we have around here, all ten or twelve of them, like it gets you a little are, yeah. repetitive from time to time. Like I've got a couple people like Jadrian. I can have him in any time, and we can have a silly fucking conversation about anything. I cannot wait for him to meet Jadrian. You're going to love him. Oh, Jadrian's awesome. You guys both have a similar laugh, and you guys are going to love or hate each other, and I can't wait to see what happens. Mm-hmm. When we first met him, he was homeless, and uh, 
he was just getting his shit together, whatever. Um, but he just started doing mics, and he was the guy that like nobody ever like invited to come over oh, yeah, and hang out with us. Yeah. But he would always just like stand by us and laugh. <laughs> and then one night, um, I That's adorable. I blew out a tire in my car. I was taking him to his car. Something blew out a tire in my car, and then we changed the tire on my car and did some cocaine and that's when we became friends there you nice. go they say coke's a bad drug i know if you're a pussy <laughs> yeah what was i oh we were thinking like colorado was the first to legalize weed why not be the first to legalize coke let's just legalize everything in this state you know portland's going for it oh i know yeah, portland really? sucks wait did they decriminalize, uh, decriminalize everything oh that's great good for them. Well, I, them in california california's got that like you can't stop a shoplifter anymore oh really? under 10 grand for or business. something yeah or a thousand it might be a Jesus. thousand yeah. you can't stop them man i can't how many uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna kill a lot of circle k's and gas stations. oh it already is yeah. a lot of walgreens uh gas stations it's, it's fucking it up i mean if <laughs> if you're gonna steal something from a business just because you know you can go for the corporations go for the walgreens yeah. the cvs don't go for the mom and pop short store don't go for the fucking bodega you know what i, I mean? hear I'm, I'm with you on that yeah that's why like when they were when they were rioting and shit or protesting whatever the fuck you mm -hmm. call it i don't mind if you bash down at starbucks i don't give a shit starbucks is stupid anyway you bash down the targets I'm but sure technically like, isn't like isn't there somebody locally that's yeah, like it's taking all franchised a yeah. and yeah. starting a starbucks or a wendy's or yeah there was a uh uh, Chevron for sale in Tucson. You want to own a Chevron, Tony? <laughs> no, I know which one you're talking about. That's yeah. the one that the the dude who used to work there was um, selling and buying meth from people. Oh, so that's why yeah, they had to sell it? it down. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. so yeah. He, it wasn't making any money. No, no, they were losing money. He was probably giving shit away for meth. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised it's not a Speedway yet. Is that a no? Thing it was going to be a Speedway. It was a Chevron, and then they there's were, a ton of Speedways. There's there. yeah, Speedways are uh, every gas station. Yeah, Speedways are making QT uh, shake a little bit. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. I fucking love a QT. Though. Oh yeah. yeah, who doesn't I, love QT? I, I only, got the shirt. Dude. I only get to check them out when I'm in Phoenix. <laughs> oh yeah, but um, uh, it's right by my mom's house, and I fell in love immediately. They Isn't have more cool? shit than most gas yeah. stations, and they are the fastest cashiers in ever. The oh, game. and yeah, they have the like double cash register. They policy. always, I always feel like an asshole because I'm always the one slowing down the line. Right? I'm, like, like, I'm sorry, you trying to put your wallet away. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, there's no way this bitch is ready, and she's like, sir, like every yeah. time. Yeah, dude, shout out QT. I almost want to work for him. Oh my god, my voice is going down. It's okay. It's sexy. <coughs> I'm going good. through puberty, guys. But okay. no, if you work for QT, you can like invest in them and become shares. You know what pisses me off is you're going through puberty now, and I still can't grow facial hair. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't grow facial hair either. It's a no. bitch. Have you ever thought about transitioning to a woman? <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts come up, but have you seen this Adam's apple? Uh, no, these tits uh, are perfect for transition, man. You do oh, yeah. got some tits. I got some nice tits. You're working but then, would you have to wear a bra? No, 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 no. If they, if regular Free the nipple. To, yeah, if regulators don't have to wear it, I don't have to wear it. And I think in New York you could go shirtless. Ah oh, shit, fuck yeah, man! You already got the haircut. I do. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some mad butch lesbian p uh, pussy out there. You know what I mean? It 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 exists. Oh, I know. Yeah, especially our town, this town. Just there's more sexual or what's yeah, the word? Amb ambigu ambiguity. Yeah, but there's more of that than racial diversity. Honestly. Oh, that's right. what it was. It was sexual yeah. diversity over gender diversity. diversity. That's what it was. That's the word. That's what it was. I had a joke. Yeah, came back from that Atlanta, time, and I yeah. was like, "There's so many white people in Durango." <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Do you remember my drunk set? I just went off on everybody for that. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. That Dude, was my favorite set. That was so fucking that, fun. That was amazing. It was the drunkest set I think any, any of us, yeah, we have ever done. Fucked up after the festival mm -hmm. at the theater. We all walked down to this bar for a dirty show that was supposed to be like nine comics or something <laughs> ended, ended up, up being like, like 30 comics. yeah dude. every comic in town <laughs> yeah. you couldn't get in the fucking patio no like there was a dance party going on inside the bar we were out back it was fucking oh, was awesome. crazy it was insane but yeah i don't i didn't stick around i stuck uh i left right after steph darnell went up oh yeah yeah i might have gone after that uh no i don't think you did because jesse ever was gonna go up and i was like i'm gonna go to the bar yeah <laughs> so that's fair you know what I'm thinking about? Uh, there was a trans woman from Bisbee who actually came up here to Colorado and got shot by a cop. Jesus. Was yeah. she black? No. Okay. Nope, not at all. Well, all right. Well, it's not all cops. Yeah, no. not all cops. <laughs> not in this town. No. Very woke. <laughs> I'm surprised they shot a trans person, I'm going to be honest. They didn't know, though. Right. They didn't know. If they knew. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm surprised. Well, where did they shoot him? Because like that's it. right after you get shot as a trans person, you have to say what's your badge number. Oh. Yeah. And from Bisbee, what kind of wild shit was this person Bisbee doing? Bisbee is nuts. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, you'd crazy. have to look up the court case. I've heard different things. Smoking Funny. meth with her pet uh, javelina. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to Bisbee, but I've heard a lot about it. I love Bisbee. Big Stan Hope fan. He doesn't really go there much anymore. Really? Yeah. Where's he at? Oh, fuck if I know. Hmm. Nobody knows. I only I did three shows with him, and that was it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Still cool shows. Don't get a twist. I'm not downplaying that at all. Like, no, that was for sure. Fucking awesome, but yeah, I haven't seen him since. Do you know Josh Fournier? I know the name. He just uh, he's a homie. He just uh, opened for Rappaport, Michael Rappaport. Nice. Yeah. The blackest white man. Ve- I can't stand him honestly. <laughs> like it's a big name. He had the biggest pass ever in that community for like the late '90s, early 2000s. Michael Rappaport was just accepted by everybody. And he was everywhere. Yeah, yeah he was everywhere. I don't. I don't have anything. Now he them. just talks mad, mad shit. shit about everything. Let's just say any post I get, I'm just like, got it. Yeah, like, you're upset. Might as well just read yeah. the text and know. I would who rather he's listen to Russell about. Brand bitch about shit. You know what I mean? He's. It's kind of cute though when Russell Brand does it. I like. Well, like, it's because he's British. If it's you're adorable, gonna fuck yeah. a dude, yeah, <laughs> it's Russell <laughs> Brand. Yeah, <laughs> he's all top, top five. Top. Yeah, five. yeah. Uh, I think George Clooney's up there still. George Clooney's a fox. I feel like he's gonna make me a bottom though. Yeah. I feel well, like some, Russell Brand. When my hair wasn't choice. so lesbianish, someone said I had the the George Clooney thing going on for a little bit. So oh, I was yeah? gonna take it. Yeah, Damn. when I, when it's done up and shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. You're Nobody's just... ever said that to me. Are you getting gray hairs? I have a ton of gray hairs. Oh, dude. nice. You never. You've not seen me. You're taller than me. Have you not seen all the grays, dude? I just just noticed it, man. Oh yeah. That was like a gay check. He's obviously <laughs> like, straight. Yeah. Yeah. What? Look at the. That's distinguished. <laughs> yeah. The silver fox. Yeah. Silver Scooby Doo. Silver Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so should we just explain that reference or no? Yeah. All right. So we were hanging out with our good buddy Bianca, who's also a friend of the podcast, uh, one of my best friends, and um, she was hanging out with some uh, comics from Phoenix, if you want to call them that. Mm. Um, but this this dude, I'm gonna go. He was very pretentious about everything. He's like, he he told her, like, look at you with your little Scooby Doo gang. And uh, and then me and Whittles were looking at each other, and I whispered to him like, "Which one of us is Scooby, though?" <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> and like the obvious answer is me. I have the scar on my face. I have the fucking I'm brown and shit. And then I just said out loud like, "Which one of us is Scooby?" And he didn't answer. He kept talking. And then I'm, I looked at Whittles, and he didn't like he didn't answer. I was like, "Which one of us is Scooby?" And he didn't answer again. I was like, "All right, we're never gonna know." But it was just like a blatant dig on like the people that weren't from that little group right there. I was like, "All right, bro, who the fuck are you anyway?" That's yeah. Yeah, even, and, yeah. I try not to talk too much shit about people I don't know. Yeah, especially it's on a podcast. I came at you, you, you because <laughs> you brought him. Yeah. So oh. I just assumed you were cool. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. But wait, what'd you what'd you say? I don't know. I've, I I've, forgot. I've talked a little it shit. Must, it must have not been the one guy's not smoking weed. You know? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I don't know. I just talked a little shit. I don't even remember. It, must it wasn't not, important. Yeah, it must have not been very good. It, <laughs> it was like a, a homie check. Oh, I was yeah. just seeing how you were going to react. It, oh, yeah. It just rolled off I the back. I oh, wouldn't my bring, I wouldn't bring like a whack person to the podcast. I am offended. I didn't I, think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. I mean, you did bring me up. Well, I, she drove me here. All right? That's <laughs> fair. That's fair. I didn't bring her. She just said, let's do the podcast. and like, I'll do the podcast. No, I'm just playing, Bianca. Yeah, when I remembered you were coming, I was like, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hang out with Bianca? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, on the plus side, she's probably going to hang out with my girlfriend for a night, so I might have like a an alone night. Like, yeah. It's so oh. rare when you live with your woman that you get like... Time to yourself. A night, especially. Yeah. I, I don't know. I know. It's been so long since I, had like a, since I lived with a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that is... Uh, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> it's been a while since you got a woman either. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Just as a relationship, yeah. Dude. Tony fucks. I That's Tony what I fucks. Tony fucks, dude. I do fuck. Oh, He's yeah. the man's man. <laughs> Good for you. Every man looks up to Tony. <laughs> How is this guy getting pussy? How does this guy get around? He's hey. funny. He is funny. I mean, is. out of the three of us, he's the one doing 30 tonight. <laughs> That's pretty true. funny. I feel bad for the crowd. It's the only thing I'm good at. That's why I brag about it. It's the only thing I'm good at is comedy. Why Every did you day. start comedy? Just out of curiosity. I mean, to make it a profession, Fair it requires enough. travel. I mean, yeah, one. yeah. Well, I didn't... I didn't. And yeah. nobody starts... 
Well, only, no one, yeah. only the shitty ones start, start thinking th- about travel when yeah. they're like, should I do an open mic? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. What, will I be able to afford the travel? Those are the shitty comics. So I was working at a nonprofit. This was years ago. I was working at a nonprofit for the blind and visually impaired. I worked with all ages. I worked with vets. I worked with kids, teenagers, all that shit. And uh, when the summer programs, <clears throat> we had the 18 and up uh, group, mm-hmm. and we had to get them ready for college or for work, right? Now, mind you, a lot of these kids were very sheltered and had helicopter parents, and they had no fucking social cues or awareness or fucking experience in life at all, which is fucking soul-crushing when you watch it firsthand. You know what I mean? Right. It's fucking terrible. Just can't, like, do for themselves. At all. Because they never had to. No, because their parents are just overbearing. Like, I can't, my baby can't be hurt. Or they're like, you're not going to be around forever. you got to let us help them because you are not going to be 60 helping your 30-year-old kid like that. You, know I mean? you can't do that. And then, then you're going to die. And yeah, well, that's what I mean. 40-year-old on your hands. And, that... and we can't tell the parents more than twice because they're paying for the camps, right? Right. So, yeah. That's a rule? Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you can only suggest it a couple times. And I don't know what the rules are anymore. I haven't worked for them in a long time. I don't know what the rules are right. anymore, but... That was the thing. It's like you can't tell them more than like twice because then you know then we might not get the funding again for that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, fast forward. I was um, one of my um, one of the goals for the month for the kids in my group was uh, getting them out of their comfort zone. <clears throat> and I was like, how the fuck? And I was I was like I was like, all right, how about this, guys? If I do something I'm uncomfortable with, which was public speaking at the time, mm-hmm. you have to do something out of your comfort zone, right? So I did an open mic for the first time uh, seven years ago, and I fell in love immediately with it. And I don't even know if those kids did anything with their lives. I just went, I, have, I don't even know, dude. I stopped working there. I became a preschool teacher after that. Started doing comedy a lot more. Um, I think I started traveling maybe four years ago mm-hmm. for comedy. And then I just, you know, I've, it's been a career for me now. Like I, I now, I wasn't like, what's the word? Um, delusioned or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like lying to myself. Like you can do this. Like I actually, cause I put in the work. I'm like, you can do this. Like if you really want to do this, bro, you're getting better at this. Go do it. And then the best way to figure out if you are good at it is leave your, leave your scene yeah leave your scene and go travel and like if you can get booked even better you know what i mean but that's the real test like you can do good in in any scene like that's great you have a support system if you if you have that's awesome but if you can go somewhere where no one knows you and your shit still lands like that's a good sign that you're probably onto something you know for sure so that's where that's where after i started traveling and shit i got booked and i could start going places i'm like i'm doing this for real this is what i'm gonna do were you bombing at first or everyone bombs at first fuck yeah dude. i mean (laughs) i mean when you started traveling Oh, no, no, no. When you had no. three years in and you were, like, a pretty strong comic. No, I never did more time than I could. Like, I'm very real with myself on what time I can do. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I don't lie to myself. Like, I do an hour. I never thought I could do an hour when I was, like, three years in. That's just, that's weird. I got yeah. offered to do 30 minutes in July, and I turned it down. Smart. At the same, the same show you're doing, just because I was, like, well, I was going to Atlanta and Nashville at the same, like, right after that. Yeah. And I was, like, I got so much <sighs> shit going on. I just quit my job. I'm trying to figure out how to, like, make some extra scratch. Yeah. Fucking doing side work and shit. I was, like, I don't think I can do 30 minutes right now. And I think I could just ask for it, but I, I'm i still not, like, that I, confident. Yeah, yes. Oh, it's and, so annoying when they're, like, oh, I need, like, 15 minutes to be funny. Really? You that's adorable. Isn't it? A lot that's of these... really common. Well, yeah. Well, the the new comics are very entitled. A lot of new comics are just entitled about, like, why is this person getting booked? And this, like, well, you've only been here for two months. Yeah. We have a like, mutual friend. Yeah. Oh, do we? Oh, she's just entitled. <laughs> I'm oh, curious. Okay. <laughs> Tony, Tony, did you get fired from the preschool for making jokes? No. So I was also. <laughs> Good question. That's the thing. Yeah. I was also doing. Um, did I tell you about? I used to play blind sports, too. Mm-mm. There was a couple sports. I was, I was playing uh, beat baseball and I was playing goal ball. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. How does that work? How does baseball work? Uh, so does it have a sound? The pitcher's on your team. Oh, tight. So he throws the ball because he uh, to according to your swing. That's why I had to go to practice a lot. Uh-huh. So you guys get, get chemistry together. You're also blindfolded. Is the pitcher blindfolded? No. Okay. Pitcher sighted. He's the one. He's the one. Who can the be one sighted. required. There's three people who can be sighted on your team, and there's there's the two spotters and the pitcher. That's fair. And um. Um, the ball will beep and you can hear it getting closer so you just whack the shit out of it and the, we have two bases instead of three there's two bases and they both make different sounds in the ball so when you hit when you hear the ball go flying the other direction you run as fast as you can to the other to one of the bases and you fucking it's fun is it beeping yeah. as you're running towards yes, it yeah. okay and it's fucking crazy it's a lot of fun um, sounds awesome it was it was great man this is when I was still in shape this is when I was sexy when I wasn't a fat piece of shit I was still working out and shit and I was also playing goalball, so I just want to stay active. And I was doing, I was also traveling for goalball a lot. I was going to different tournaments across the country. What's goalball? Goalball is, it's a sport that was made for the blind after World War II uh-huh. for uh, injured vets who went blind. <clears throat> and there's, um, I call it like reverse dodgeball. Um, so there's a soccer, a soccer goal on a basketball court on each side. 
and it's a uh, three by nine. So they get three three meters um, going up, but like this section section off. So that's your team, middle court, other thing, and then the team. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the ball house bells in it. Everyone on the team is blindfolded. There's three people on the court each time for a team, and the you have to underhand throw the ball like you like lunge and throw. So you can't throw it over or whatever. Mm-hmm. You got to make sure it hits the ground at a certain point, and you have to block it with your body and then throw it back and try and get it back in the in the goal. So it's a lot of fun. It's probably the the more the more fun sport that I have, but other than beat baseball, goal ball's the shit. And um, <clears throat> anyway, back to your question. Um, <laughs> I was taking a lot of time off of work for weekends to go travel to different states, Uh-oh. and uh, I had I had a bad relationship with one of my coworkers, so I asked her. To, it's my fault. I shouldn't have asked her to cover for me on Friday. She said she would. She didn't tell the boss, so I got fired. The Monday I got back because um, no one covered that shift. She was gone, and I was gone, and she didn't tell anyone. So I was like, fuck her. Yeah, fuck that bitch. So she just left a bunch of preschoolers alone. Dude, that she was a bitch. Dude, no, I technically Tony did. Yeah, technically <laughs> I did. Yeah, and then, then I lost my job after that. And, um, <clears throat> At least she my... didn't lose the kids. Yeah, well, well, the fucked he up part. He doesn't know where they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what happened to the kids? No, the oh fucked up God. part, dude, is after I got fired, the coworker who didn't cover for me, she told my kids that I left because they were bad. <laughs> Bro, dude, she's a fucking cunt. They probably were though, right? No, they were all like. So first of all, they're they're kids, all right. Yeah. <laughs> we also our, our our preschool was a lot of CPS cases, so they already had uh, shitty uh, homes. You know yeah. what I mean? And from when I found out that Bridget or that Smitch uh, fucking told my kids that they were bad, and that's why I left and I'm never coming back, dude. I wanted to go over there and beat the shit out of her, because like you build a rapport with your kids, dude. You do, like, uh-huh. and I, I just it just sucked, but. That all being said, like after that, <clears throat> I just started doing comedy full time after that and um, lost mm. my girlfriend, <laughs> nice. lost Weird. my apartment after you that, lost all your friends, lost all, lost a bunch of shit I'm after sure. that. But this is that's why I'm saying that comedy has been like the saving grace. Like that's why it's one of the reasons I don't eat a bullet, you know, is mm. I, I, I can thrive in comedy. Dude, honestly, I mean, I had a job and a house and all that shit, but it just like comedy, like almost kind of gave me a reason like live a mm-hmm. little bit you know what i mean because oh, yeah. life just gets monotonous yeah oh, and yeah. when you've been You're in a job in a routine yeah. yeah when i started i was like eight years into an oil field job same thing every day there's many times when i was just having a shitty day and i'd be like i could just drive this truck off a cliff like there's cliffs everywhere yeah man oh yeah i'm working my ass off to avoid them and half the time i looked over and saw my dog and i was like what if she didn't die and i did and there was just my i love my dog there were times yeah. where i like and this is when i still had a cane and i still walk around everywhere with a cane <clears throat> i don't do that anymore because i just i don't i don't need anyone thinking i'm an easy target you know what i mean that's a gangster ass answer that's <laughs> real like, shit. i don't want to look like a mark i don't it, that's <laughs> real shit that's why i don't do it um and most of the time when i had a cane anyway it was just so people wouldn't think i'm looking at them because my eyes are fucking crazy and yeah I, you've heard that joke before um but anyway what was i saying about oh yeah there were times where like i just went like that bus wouldn't be able to stop in time. You know what I mean? Like if I could just jump in front of that bus, right? Be perfect. I, I'm just saying I have the I have the same. Uh, what's it called? The calling of the void. Mm-hmm. You heard of that? It just means you have suicidal tendencies. Yeah, you'd probably cause some trauma for the bus driver. I don't care. The or those driver. train drivers. You know, all the people that jump in front of the trains. Those train drivers are going through shit. Man. <laughs> they like, can't I can't therapy. stop. <laughs> yeah, you're driving under the earth, or wherever. You're yeah. just dry. They're probably all kind of sad people. <laughs> to be a train driver? Yeah, they're still in the yeah. trains. No one's in the trains anymore. I think there's a lot of jobs where it's just, like, reserved for, like, people whose life is just, like, bottomed yeah. out. Yeah. Attorneys especially. And, like, I could see... <laughs> I mean, they're usually financially good. Everything else not Everything so else is good. terrible, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. My lawyer, after I went to jail, seemed like he was living a pretty solid life. Oh, yeah. Drive a Range Rover. I saw him at Purgatory all the time when I was working up there. Dang. That sounds like a, like a real like he- purgatory like heaven uh, and hell. It's a ski I, I, resort. Go to, I go to it's purgatory all the time. It's, yeah, sorry. Is that the big waiting ski to judge? Here? Yeah, it's the ski resort here. That's why I moved here. Was well legal weed, and because uh, I went to jail for some drug stuff. Uh, conspiracy to distribute LSD. Ooh. So do you have any? <laughs> no, I wish I did. I don't have any drugs other than joints. I do and have that's those. fine too. And if he did, he wouldn't say it on the podcast. That's true. <laughs> uh, it doesn't come out till Friday. Any drugs yeah, I, I had today would be gone. Really? Yeah, yeah, be gone. God. Yeah, yeah, be like, fucking uh, prove it. Yeah, you see Fetty Wap got a Rico case. I don't even know what a Fetty Wap is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a Fetty Wap is? He's got the Trap Queen song. He was a rapper back in the... Hey, back in the day before... Yeah. Yeah. I was still going to college. 
I'd probably yeah. recognize it. She's like if I heard oh, it. I'm gonna be a terrible fucking. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know it. For us. No, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, go, I'm yeah, good. Go for it, bro. Especially with this voice, I need to. <laughs> fucking going out, man. I sound like I'm going through puberty. Oh, I hope you're doing better at the set. This, this, this fucking dude has been crushing it the past few. Uh, I would say the past like six months in Tucson. I heard he's that. just been funny for the last few yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, no, a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, Courtney, right. only the best one is Tony once lost his keys, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Where's the last place you heard him?" <laughs> that's a good joke that's, that's my favorite blind joke it's the most original one I've heard it's a great joke yeah I like it that's fucking good do you think I'd borrow the lighter to open this or could you open this yeah I got you bro can you open that other one for me too oh yeah thanks man he'll be our bartender tonight oh nice como se dice host yeah. <laughs> hosto boom oh, thank you sir I'm enjoying this yeah, I'm glad cheers. you're in town yeah cheers, me too man I'm, I would I well, and I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I asked Whittles, uh, just because like I I was either that or I'm greyhounding out here, and I I've taken so many greyhounds in my fucking life just for comedy. Yeah, if you told me to come <laughs> pick you up at the greyhound station, I would be nervous all day. <laughs> 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 Is there a greyhound station in Durango? I mean, there's a transit, there's a bus station. Yeah, buses come in and out. That yeah, I, and I knew I, that I knew that was an option, but I was like, if I can just get a friend to take me instead. But I'm not. I'm also not gonna bring a fucking scrub comic either. No, I. I expected that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I did ask Bianca first, so if she gives you any shit, I did ask her first if she want to come with me out here. She's going to listen to this for sure. Uh, I've already taken some digs. It's only because I love you, <laughs> Don't be a hater. Um, but yeah, then I was I was asking Whittles. And she said no. And yeah. I was your backup plan. Yeah. Damn. Right. No, don't forget it, bro. Well, you got to understand, Bianca's best friends with my girlfriend. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he would reasonably assume that she would want to come back. Yeah. And she also but, likes to wrangle, despite how much, you know. She left. Yeah. Good for her. I mean, her. you got to leave places to like yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, uh, to be fair, I don't go back to Rio Rico at all, so. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that? That's my hometown. In Arizona? Yeah, it's uh, it's by the border. It's like right by Nogales. Oh, tight. Yeah, that's where I grew up, and then I moved out fucking like nine years ago. Moved to the big city? Yep, that's what it was for me when I was in Rio Rico. I'm like, Tucson? No yeah. way. I'm going to go to Tucson. Yeah. What? That's crazy. Yeah. And then you get there and you're like, what? The I still love it. It's big enough a city for me. That's like that's Tucson. all I need. And you know what? There's another thing. I was bummed out when I didn't go to Austin, right? Uh-huh. But okay. like, so many people. Are going but you can still go everywhere and have mm-hmm. a home base. Like, I still live in Tucson, but I've been booked all year out of state in different states. You know what I mean? Well, that's all Austin would be ideally is a home base. Yeah, and it's yeah. expensive though for a it home is base. Expensive, yeah, Austin. compared to Tucson, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you should for look at sure. prices of this fucking town. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's ex- yeah. I have the cheapest living situation in Durango, nice. especially three bedrooms, like hundred nice. percent. I, it's crazy. Yeah, I was what well, we were joking like this town definitely looks like they knocked down a few trees to sell a couple condos. Oh yeah. Bro, there's all the houses downtown, or let's say, let's be conservative, say half of them, <laughs> are cut in half or into threes and rented as three separate units for $1,200 a piece. Jesus. Wow. There are like, a lot of Airbnbs, too. Probably, yeah. Those are California prices. I know. No, it, it's like downtown Durango is very hard to live in. You have to have three roommates and fucking. Yeah, I was living. I was staying at uh, Bianca's brother's place. And usually somebody's living in, in the goddamn living room. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then what do people do up here? Job That's wise. the thing. They don't. Job wise is interesting. Uh, a lot of service industry, yeah. cooks, yeah. waiters, waitresses. I yeah. mean, that's what this town is. It's and a tourist all small town. towns, though. Yeah, because yeah, Rio sure. Rico, the Rio Rico and Nogales. If you're, if you're not in produce, you're not making a lot of money. Right. And even produce is seasonal, so you have to be deep within the produce like community to be like making some fucking to be money. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's similar here. A lot of like kids that are paying eight nine hundred bucks for a room in a house are like working up at per- at the mountain it's 30 minutes north yeah they're working at the mountain um all winter and then they're just like scraping by for two or three months yeah. when the mountain closes and then they raft guides in the summer or mountain bike coaches or uh, that's that's why people don't really care about their living situation is a lot of people are rarely home uh, like they're, they're just very outside out oh uh, and that's why that joke didn't land very well the one I told that when I when I was yelling at everybody, I was like, "Hiking's not a personality, girls." So. Oh, uh, they love it. Okay, I know they do, but that's that was my joke. The, tonight at this mic, not a lot of hikers. So, <laughs> so I can just say it again. Yeah. I don't know if I was gonna say. I was thinking not about that. Not a lot of hikers, but a lot of micers. 
A lot of micers, that's right. <laughs> At I'm least half hike. the crowd. <laughs> yeah. If you spell open micer with a K, though, we have issues. That's the most stupid thing. It. Do not spell open that's, micers with a K. It's hackier than a soundboard. Ah. <laughs> hackier than that joke, for sure. That was Fucking, I don't know. I feel like I just get uh, the longer you do comedy, the more you just get jaded and you hate everything after a while. No, it happens. You just gotta you gotta know your audience, and I like to oh, push yeah. the boundaries. So like, do I. The fact that there's two transgender comics who look eerily like me, I can, I have, gone at them. You know what yeah. I mean? And this is the wokest place I've though. ever been. That's equality. Exa- if but, you didn't go after them because they were transgendered, that's bigotry. Yeah, but the crowd's small enough. Everybody knows we're friends. Yeah. Like, everybody knows us. It's a small town, and we do goddamn comedy. I'm glad you, you said know? that because I, I really i am bringing some, as far as I'm concerned, some edgier stuff. Tonight. Do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I go pretty hard, dude. Yeah. I've been trying to write this joke about, because you know they're reintroducing wolves in Colorado? I didn't know that. And my argument is it's the... Or there's a lot of homeless people, and that's the best argument I've heard <laughs> for reintroducing wolves to Colorado. Ah. Uh, two birds, one wolf. Yeah. <laughs> and when I was in the VFW, I was like, and you'd finally be able to tell which homeless people are veterans because <laughs> they'd be the only ones left. I'm, uh, I'm debating whether or not I want to tell you my Dave Chappelle joke. That yeah. part killed, by the way. Yeah. The veteran part. Everybody was like, hell yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's the VFW, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of it until I walked in. I was like, oh, I think I just figured out yeah, how to make that great. joke work. Yeah, it was funny how you're like, you some, You got to know your audience. I'm just happy there is an audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you can't, everything you know about them, you got to use. Like, yeah. and if you're going to approach a delicate topic, approach it delicately well, this or make what... it fucking undeniably funny. Yes. Like, if it's undeniable. Yeah. And if it's just offensive to be offensive, that's, that's, that's different. That's yes. Uh, intent is very important. And that kind comedy. of shit in Durango, not. It will not fly. Don't talk about killing dogs. Like, oh yeah, there's certain things in this town where the crowd's just like, "Fuck you." Well, I'm, no, I'm, dogs. I'm, gonna, I'm about dogs. to bring the Dave Chappelle controversy up on stage. So yeah, oh yeah, I'm excited. I I, nice. I, 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 I want to tell you about it right now, but I don't want to give it away. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're gonna tell it again, I mean, I am. Yeah, you want you want to hear it? I mean, nobody listens. Okay. No, I'm saying if you're gonna tell it again, maybe don't say it on the podcast. Okay. Right. But yeah, yeah. N- who's fucking li- not? I don't know. Who cares? You know, Tony, you're blessed because on the highway here, we saw like multiple dead dogs on the road. And I was mm-hmm. like, Tony, you're didn't lucky. even phase them. You didn't, you didn't get to see those. I didn't. Yeah, that's it's the same thing the when someone says like you. that chick was yeah. checking you out. I'm like, I don't know where the fuck. She's <laughs> <out right now." laughs> Fucking turn her my way. Yeah, dude. Push her over <clears> here. <throat> that just made my friends look like assholes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they know I can't see her. That was I had a riff about this like a few years ago. I was like. All my friends like to tell like their lady friends that they help their blind friend. Mm-hmm. It's only for them to get pussy. They've never actually tried to hook me up with pussy. Like they, I'm just like their autistic friend. This is my buddy Tony. And every when I get mad enough, if I ever get mad, like they, that's why you're using me for, I will fucking go full retard. Like, thank Ooh. you for coming out to the show. I really appreciate you hanging out with my buddy Chris. He's a real good guy. <laughs> that's what I did when I, I took Tony to a strip club. Perfect. Dumb, dumb idea, dude. Really? Dumb idea. No, these strip clubs are not accommodating. <laughs> they are not ADA compliant. There's no wheelchair ramps. Mm. And he started trying to read Braille, and it was just herpes. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, it was funny because the herpes read as Braille, and it was Whittle's uh, mom's phone number. Ah, oh. see, yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a rib shot. <laughs> yeah. The worst part about the strip clubs: there's no touching policy. Mm. Why? Well, I don't know if that's the worst part. I'm pretty sure that's been like a known thing. Yeah, but for you, so the first time I ever went to a strip club was just likes the smell. That's the right. Uh, I just love smelling cologne and perfume collide. Uh, <laughs> it's intense. Yeah, it's an intense. It's a smell. lot. It's you a know lot. where you are. Yeah, when well, yeah. you can smell sweat from the back too. You know what I mean? It's just gross. It's so much uh, glitter you can fucking so see. So much it. glitter. <laughs> the first time I went to a strip club, I was with my my two best friends at the time. I mean, they're still they're they're my brothers forever, but. Uh, I had just got my cane. I just started working at that place I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. And I got my cane. I was going through cane training and all that stuff like that. And um, they thought it'd be hilarious. Like, I just got a cane. Like, we should go to a strip club. I'm like, no. They're like, it'd be hilarious. I'm like, okay, because I'm a fucking sap. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. it'll be fucking hilarious. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So You never I know could, until you try. Well, and I went in there with the cane and everything, and I could immediately feel all the eyes on me, right? I felt everybody looking at me. He was like, what the fuck yeah. is this guy? <laughs> well, and I, 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 just, I just assumed, like, they must really hate my friends. I'm like, these guys are a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> right. I'm a blind friend to a strip club. You know what I mean? So I get self-conscious, and I, I sit down, and I fucking immediately fold the cane up and put it under the chair because I don't want anyone to see the cane anymore. 
<clears throat> and uh, they bought me a lap dance. And the stripper comes by, and she's like, give me a lap dance. And then she <laughs> she gets mad at me. She goes, why aren't you looking at me? <laughs> Damn. And I didn't know Should've what to say. I didn't know what to say. Well, like she already knew. She saw me come in. I can't. Well, well, and that's the thing. That's I didn't know what to say. I don't know the etiquette of a strip club. I was like fucking, I was 23, I think, at the time. Right. And uh, I didn't know the etiquette of the strip club. I don't know what to say to them. I don't know what I can say. And my buddy was like, oh, no, he's blind. He can't see anything. So she goes, she grabs my hands and puts them on her tits and goes, just have fun. This is what it's for. This is fun. Like, oh, I love strip clubs now. It was great. That's exactly what I would assume would happen. It was fun. That's why I would take you to a strip club. Well, be like Tony's gonna fill some tits. And after that is when I found like I I, I started going to strip clubs like for a year after that. But I started taking my lesbian blind friend with me, mm-hmm. so it was just awesome. I got to watch her with girls, and like I you know what I mean it was just like two. They, they, they thought it was adorable. Like look at this little blind couple, like little blind blind girl, little blind boy, right. and just coming together a strip mm-hmm. club. Like it was fucking hilarious. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was good times. So. How often were you going? Did this turn into like, oh, the place you would get drinks yeah, so, after work? So it wasn't after work, but after every paycheck, me and my friend, I was telling you about my lesbian friend. So like once a week? So yeah, once a week. After we, we'd pay our rent and we would, uh, she would hit me up or I'd hit her up. Like, what are you doing tonight? She's like, strip club, strip club, let's go. And because it was always fun for us, man. And um, yeah, so like once a week about. And then um, and then I start, like I left. I left the job, and then she left the job after the word, and then she like got a serious girlfriend. I think she moved in with her. I think they're married now. I'm not sure, um, but like she she got her life together. I didn't. I started doing comedy, <laughs> right. and um, yeah, no, that was that was. I think I was only doing that for like a year, and then were you like, on the path to getting married before comedy? <clears throat> I mean, I thought I was gonna get married to this chick because we'd been living together for three years. Well, you always think if yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. like, and you don't ask someone to move in with either. You, you think or you yet. fucking know it's not. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> you're like. I can't figure out how to break up with this bitch. No, nah, it, it was nothing like that. I mean, it got to that point after two and a half years. You know what I mean? Because the first two years were fucking great. It was awesome. I was doing, like, but I was the only one providing too. So yeah, I was a lighter. Smoke a joint. Yeah, I'll it's do good that. For you. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good for the eyes. It's like carrots, but you can smoke them. Fucking way better than carrots, brother. <laughs> <laughs> they medica- or they fucking prescribe this shit for glaucoma. Mm. I wish I had it. Is weed? Wreck there yet? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just got my weed charged, expunged, and flagstaff. What? Yeah, dude. Dude. Yeah. dude. So that's Congratulations. how. That's why we had. Well, I mean, I petitioned. They wouldn't. Why wouldn't they stop that? But like, because oh, so the, you don't even know yet. I yeah, mean, the judge. Pass. Yeah, it's the judge has to. It's like, why wouldn't he? What if they don't? They're like, this motherfucker was breaking the law. I know that would be really dumb, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> was I don't know. Word. Don't do the crime if you can't. Do yeah. The crime. Right. Right. No, but it's cool that. No, of course I hope it works. Yeah. Yeah. I just see it how like an old dickhead judge who still doesn't believe in it, even though it's legal now, would oh, pick. Oh yeah, you know, devil, marijuana, the devil's advocate, no, literally. the devil's advocate. Yeah, right. It's the devil's lettuce. No, it's, it's that electric jazz. Oh, it says devil's harvest. I thought it said devil's lettuce. Oh, that would have been funny. I tried. That's always so funny. That's your poster. Yep. I love that. No, I. You you kind of remember when you get it, you know what I mean? Mm. And then you just stop looking at shit. Like, I have a oh, s- yeah. photocopy of a signed Hunter S. Thompson letter to my neighbor's husband because my neighbor's husband was Hunter S. Thompson's lawyer, one of the three lawyers he had. What did he do again? Hunter S. Thompson? Yeah. He was an author. He okay. wrote Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Gotcha. And he was, like, embedded in the Hell's Angels for two years and was just a crazy drug addict wild man. He ran for sheriff in Aspen. Nice. That's pretty cool. He lost. Nice. <laughs> but it was pretty legendary. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, might Kenny for mayor. mayor. Kenny for mayor. Kenny for mayor. Absolutely. Kenny, Kenny, for, Kenny for mayor. Castle Rock Kenny. Shout out for to mayor. you, sir. Is, who is this Kenny? He's one of Stan Hope's crew, but he was also running for mayor in uh <laughs> And it Bisbee. scared the shit out of everyone. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. I wasn't there for it, but I heard all about it when I got to Because he could have won. Yeah. He for sure. Won. And no one would... That'd be a shit it's show. That would have been a shit show, though. If he won? Yeah. I think I would have loved to be there for at least two days of it. Yeah. He would have. I don't know how long he would have stayed He would have closed his eyes during his whole speech all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Try to hang himself. In so, the so he, uh, I love Kenny. Don't get it twisted. Kenny's awesome. Yeah. But every time, like, I've known him for, what, like, two years now? Two years he's been going to the it's kind of my fault because I, I I I fucking push people to do comedy. I really do. I just like you should try comedy. Comedy is fucking awesome. I do that. Yeah, I do it all the time. And uh, I told Kenny, and he hasn't missed an open mic since. You know that? No, he's the host. Yeah, he he hasn't missed an open mic since. And, nice. Uh, but he he fucking closes his eyes during his set, so it's hard to get him off the stage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, if I'm doing well, 
I am so not focused on the light. And I also realize where I am. Yes. Well, that takes time, too. You know, But, like, in Dolores, I, I if I go over, it's not going to be much. Let's just yeah. say that. But in Dolores, it's like you're in the middle of nowhere, and sometimes it's hard to do good. And if you're doing good, man, it's hard to stop. Yeah. Like, Because you're just like, I've just seen three people bomb, like, and I'm on fire. Like, just let me go. You know what I mean? But I've missed the light a couple times. That's what I'm saying. Here's, oh, the, nice. here's the good thing about... You uh, ran the light. Well, yeah. Don't, if you, if you do, if you, especially if you're crushing, I wouldn't run the light. Because then you always want you want to leave them with wanting more. Right. So it, they're going to want to see you again later. It's the person looking for a strong note to end on. Yeah. That, je- But that's even worse. Yeah, it is. Because you can everybody hear them hates going to, you. Yes, yeah. I saw that happen in Dolores last week. I see it happen every week. Yeah. I bet. Because we have a mic every day now. Yeah. I will say when I was in Atlanta, um, I did not run the light. Like, I was very aware of how many comics were on the list. And, like, you know, I was doing good. And I was like, I don't know if the next joke's going to do good. Like, saw the light. And I was like, all right, everybody, I'm Brian Nash. Yeah. yeah. You made the decision to close on that one. Yeah. That's, yeah. And that's then good. they'll cut your time, too, if there's more comics. And like, all right, you're doing three now. And you're like, all right. I'll Especially as that. an unknown. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. just traveling comic. I was saying the same thing last night to him. It's yeah. like, when you're a no-name comic, this is the life right now. It's just us coming to Colorado for a fucking show. But isn't it the worst when you get bumped for another unknown-named comic? Yeah. <laughs> no, that shouldn't yeah. happen tonight. Don't oh, worry. <laughs> Not enough comics to get bumped. Well, We're going to do fine. That's going to be a fun show. Yeah. We yeah. Don't, <sighs> I don't know. We're a small, tight-knit group, and everybody's excited to see new comics. So That's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone, when I posted the flyer today, because Emma sent me the flyer today, um, everyone who liked the post was from here. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I was like, I know every single one of these people. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Durango. Yeah. So it's like Durango is a city that people actually move to. It's not like where they grew up and got stuck. It's it's rare to find a Durango local, like be, oh, because really? a lot of people around here do have money. So like they usually have the resources to leave. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And it's the kind of place. It's a college town. Yeah, and a lot of like education is valued here, so a lot of kids probably go college somewhere else. You know what I mean? Because they yeah. they have the resources, and it's something they want to do, and they want to get the fuck out of. Like, if you grow up in a tiny town, oh yeah, yeah. you want to get the fuck out. I grew yeah. up in a town larger that's an hour away from here. Fucking hate it. Yeah, I go there for Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas. Yep. Like, yeah, so that freeway that's why going to Christmas will probably is, not work. I, I first of all, Rio Rico's grown. Yeah. A lot since when I was because we were a small town. Now they have like little suburb areas. I'm like, holy shit! I didn't know we could do this because there's all mountains out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> well, everyone's moving to Colorado, Texas, Austin, and, and, and Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, we have a California plate, but don't get it twisted. We're not trying to invest in any Airbnbs here or anything mm. like that, or gentrify you. Yeah, it's just I mean, the plates. We pretty can... gentrified already. Uh, <laughs> Soto Sopa. So yeah, that <laughs> happened years ago. Oh yeah, a lot of granola. Same into. <laughs> Yes. Lot of granola. Yeah. Where's Keep the granola plant? Everybody's proud of their fucking Chaco tans. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like you bought hundred dollar sandals. I don't <laughs> really. Yeah. See, that's like the fourth time I've heard that brand, and I don't know what the, like Chacos. Yeah, I, I thought it was like it's a, a local an, brand. It's like, it was like an energy bar. Yeah. <laughs> not local brand, but it's big with people here. Okay. Oh. Hikers. Well, this is not hikers Crocs, love right? Chacos. Oh, really? Yeah. What the fuck is a Chaco? It's a yeah, and if you're wearing Crocs in Durango, you're basically homeless. I think. Uh, no. It's like a high class version of Crocs. So no, they look like no. Crocs. It's a really fancy sandal. Oh, that, like has like long warranty. It's quality. It's quality. Oh. The people around, even the poor people, are like, I need Chaco. They nice can barely sandal. pay rent, and they got Chaco. You know, uh, I just never understood it. It's the brand, man. It is it's like homeless people got iPhones. Yeah, you don't get it. That's true. Yeah. I'm not doing well. If you're living in a tent, you're fucking bored. Like, (laughs) yeah, or balling. No, probably not balling. I mean, I don't know, man. It is fucking cold at night. Yeah, I don't know how they do that here. It is cold. Dude, we were cold last night in Flagstaff. Yeah, Flagstaff had some homeless people there too, and we're like, what? Flagstaff is like the Durango of Arizona. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. It's a little bigger, but yeah, for, for sure. But, yeah, I got the same kind of vibe. But it's still getting fucking gentrified like no other. Well, with, like, the student, student housing. housing. They did I that was, with Tucson, too. Tucson, they lost they just, a lot of shit to student housing. Yeah, they just built up all these. And then COVID happened. Right, They're all empty. Right, all They're all dude. empty. And you're like, ah, uh, they couldn't find a rental. Now there's all these signs. We have all this fucking student housing and that goddamn stupid 
little mini train thing that we have on Fourth Ave. Oh yeah. I hate, what is that? What is that called? Like a, a street car. It's a street car or something. They have a street car. It was like twenty two million dollars. Yeah. And like Phoenix, here's and that's why I say this. Phoenix has a great fucking. It's not a street car. It's like a monorail kind of thing. But it goes right. around the city. Drops off everywhere in the city. Really. Tucson. It's just Fourth Ave and like U of A. Yeah. I was just pandering to the college, and I, I think I've only been through Tucson, and it. You weren't missing. I wouldn't much. assume there's a streetcar. That's <laughs> yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen streetcars in like Denver and like yeah, big yeah. ass cities. Yeah, it used to have an older one too. Mm-hmm. Bisbee used to have a streetcar. Really? Yeah, they had like a whole trolley. It's too fucking hot to walk. That kind of situation. No, Bisbee's really nice all year. Yeah, it is. Really, Bisbee, like you guys are higher elevation, right? I think so. I think we're like. Yeah. Five? That's true, because I get drunk way faster in Bisbee. 5,000. Oh, that's right. We're in Durango. This is all I need tonight. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. And your water boils quicker, right? Boils? Boils. <laughs> uh Boils. Seems like it always fucking takes forever. How do you yeah. know? Why do you know that, by the way? Because of the pressure up here. Uh, it's like water things. Water boils. You know, your water at ball. different rates. I, but I don't know enough to no, be confident to say it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it's faster or slower. <laughs> yeah. You know and, what I mean? You know, I never believed that because it took me a while to get drunk on a plane, too, you know? <laughs> and you're at a high elevation there, and you, you're like... But it's pressurized. It's also it so boring. To drink on a plane? No, just being on a plane. Oh, yeah. It's so boring that, like, the level of drunk, it, I think, has to be a little higher than if you're living everyday life. Uh, I guess you. You're uh, <laughs> the sobriety bar. Yeah. It does have to be, like, if you travel enough, it just feels like any kind of sit and wait, go anywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because I've been on train, I've been on planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, have you been on a boat? Not yet. You have not been on a boat? I've not been on a boat. Not for comedy is what I'm saying. To uh. get to comedy. Because everything else, I've taken trains, planes, and fucking buses. If I'm going by myself, anyway. Yeah. Sketch. <laughs> nah. How do you find your way around? Google, baby. Yeah. Apple Maps. And like yeah. the people who got me there in the first place, I'm like, hey, so what the fuck am I at right now? Right. You just can you just talk to your phone? Yeah. Like, will yeah. it tell you stuff? Yeah, I should do that more often because I do look at it way too much in public because it's always like right fucking here. Right. Because you have limited vision. Yes. Nice. Nice. He's, what about people that are completely blind? They got to talk to their shit. Yeah, iPhones are the best for blind people. Really? I hate Apple, but it's, I love this fucking phone. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, thinking about getting a fucking Mac book or whatever like an apple laptop you know what i mean yeah, just because i think it would work better with all my shit it would they yeah. they like like that's like still their underlying things like they handle audio very well you yeah know what i mean and everything's yeah all my i have a buddy that's like the sound engineer in town and he will never own anything other than an apple other than a Mac. You know? yeah all these brand whores. <laughs> well he's just like i it took me so long to figure out how to do this like i don't want any other fucking obstacles for one yeah and he's like they're the best well, if i switch back to android yes. right now i wouldn't know how the fuck to use it oh and you're using ableton too yeah it came with the interface nice so it just free oh yeah that's actually pretty expensive too and as much as i fucking spent on everything i was yeah. like yeah i'm gonna use this software fuck yeah i think i'm gonna learn it and it'll be fine fuck with the ableton. but yeah if i had mac it would be easier well, the marijuana has officially hit me, so I'm, I'm weird really high right now. Don't incriminate yourself. I even went it's with not a, illegal here. It's not incrimination. I even went with a really mellow one that I've been smoking a lot of. But I, I may have bro. just like a ridiculous tolerance at this point. Yeah, my tolerance is super low. I just smoke joints. Yeah, is that all you guys do here? Just smoke joints and eat granola and hike. <laughs> Some people. Yeah. Yeah, I've been like cutting firewood for money and shit. And, like, oh, that's dope. It's a lot of fucking work. I know. It's a lot of cutting. Uh, yeah. But my truck's awesome. And, like, it's old as shit, but it fucking it starts up every time, huh? never fucking quits. Nice. just doesn't know how. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice. A lot. My dad had a truck like that. He always bragged the same way. He's like, that thing always fucking starts. No matter how long it sits in the dust, it's always ready to go. Now, every once in a while, there's, like, a battery connection issue. But I dra- it's my daily driver, so it doesn't. Because I, I got that Denali out there that my mom gave me. Which is awesome, but I drove it to work for fucking three days, and somebody ran into it, and I was Jesus. like, "All right, the old truck, that's that's what I'm parking in town." Yeah, because it's right. a small town, so all the parking is shit. Like, oh, yeah. it's almost an inconvenience to have parking, yeah. you know, yeah. to the the fucking money makers in town. Yeah. So what? It's is it a lot of retirees or just rich people? It's vacation homes. Both both and college kids because we have college so so you get those three <laughs> yeah and then there's the randoms like me like us. yeah they can't afford it no yeah i can't afford to live in town you yeah. know 
Like, I don't but, know if I'd want to live in town. I wouldn't. I like I stayed there for like a week, and I was like, I don't need to live here. Yeah, it would take my dogs fucking it's weeks like, to acclimate. Oh yeah. If they hear anything, they're fucking because we live in the country. I don't know where. Yeah. Fucking raccoons on the porch sometimes. There nice. was a bear on the porch one time. What nice. you guys got bears out here? We do. That's cool. In this neighborhood. In this, uh, this specifically this neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Foxes. They all, ha- they own a house three doors down. Yeah. yeah. Dang. And they're gonna reintroduce wolves like. I don't know, a couple hours from here. Nice. Just that way. Just a what, is I there some you, other uh, population? Hiking's going to get less popular. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. But is there some kind of like other invasive animal that they're trying to cut down on with the wolves? Well, or they're just trying to get the wolves City popular? folks want wolves back in Colorado. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> they don't understand. We need a new flag. Get some wolves out there. I don't understand living with predators already. Like. Yeah, like bears and shit. I Mountain just, lions. Dude, like, uh, the ranchers are probably up in arms. Yeah, like, they're gonna fucking kill them. That's why stuff. there's no wolves. We killed them for that fucking yeah. reason. They're killing us and our livestock. All right, city us folks, and our food. City folks, you have to be really nice to the wolves and turn them into dogs. You know, I think it's like impossible to do, isn't Tame it? Tame them? No, it is it a it, wolf? It's how we got dogs originally. That's true. Yeah, but it took a long time. It took a lot of breeding. Different circumstances. You can't just like let a wolf in your house. There's, yeah, there's no pug wolves out there. Uh, I think but, you get. No. I think that's where pugs came from. No, technically. no. Some people have wolves. Okay, Bisbee's the greatest place. Yeah, so I've seen people with wolves. wolves, and I've also heard stories many times of the wolves getting out of whatever goddamn cage they're locked in and just murking a bunch of shit. Hell yeah! Because yeah. it's a wolf. It's a fucking wolf. Yeah. A fucking wolf. Yeah. That's only when they're hungry, okay? <laughs> you just got to feed them a gotta lot. Take them out for a walk. You couldn't take a wolf for a walk. Sorry, hunting ke- deer with your no, car. No, you're just getting dragged. <laughs> or you don't have a wolf anymore. It just took off. You know what I mean? There's... Yeah, but you love that wolf. I, you respect it. it. O- only, yeah. <laughs> only what if you if were raised puppy. by the wolves? It, well, I wouldn't walk. I wouldn't be walking it. I'd be hunting with it. Fucking uh, Mowgli over here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before the... Bear, maybe you are Scooby. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Raised by wolves. Yeah, Raised by wolves. It's a dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can't all be singers. Yeah, we yeah. still do not know who Scooby is. That's gonna that's gonna haunt me forever. Yeah. Oh, um, you should just only wear Scooby Doo shirts. And yeah, well, should we solve mysteries? Yeah, they're we'll mysteries, and, and you should just find him. Dress like, however Shaggy did, but so uh, no, yeah. we have to take turns because we don't know which one of us is Scooby. Yeah. Nope. So you have to be brown face for a little while. That uh, depends on if your <laughs> voice is cracking. Actually, Shaggy has a voice crack. God damn. Ah, yes. I forget. Maybe that's that, Maybe that's why. That's Casey Kasem. You guys know who that is? No. Uh-huh. All right. I heard him on the radio all the time. Yeah, sorry. Right? How old are you, Whittles? Top 100. 18. Kasem. <laughs> 17. 15, actually. You got to say over 21 because I gave you beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I am... Yeah, yeah, I'm over 21. Look at his beard. Yeah. Late puberty. That's yeah, fine. he bought Late. that. <laughs> I bought the beard. Yeah, he bought the beard. He didn't grow that shit. Yeah. 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 I saw this beard roller on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Ads, and I thought about it. And then I was like, that would be embarrassing. And it just uh, it goes in, and then you put the gel on yeah. it and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. just felt embarrassed about that. And then I bought the the masturbation egg oh right nice instead that. that's I a better choice all. Yeah. fake hair versus fake pussy I would go with fake pussy all the time and the first time I pulled, told anybody about it was on stage in front of my girlfriend that was also her first knowledge of it <laughs> 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 but I was hammered and she was out of town when I, when I was looking <laughs> at these things and I was like man this sounds nice right now <laughs> and I didn't even pay attention as I was going through like the shipping and it was like 31 days or like a month to two months and I was like well I guess I'll tell my girlfriend if she's the one to check the mail. Like, <laughs> nice, and you got away with hey, it. Did you get a package that looks like a sex toy at all? Yeah. <laughs> then I told her about it on stage like the next day, so it was fun. Nice. Nice. No, that is pretty funny. I wonder. Did if you I'm... name it after her, too? I haven't named it yet. I see. I wouldn't. I it's, it's, I mean, it's great... I would name it like a dirty whore name. Like, because, like, at first you're like, this is nice, and then you got to clean it, and you're like, you fucking you gross. Piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking animal. <laughs> and was she jealous? Like what? This did better than me, you know? And Not really. No. I don't think any. I don't think any girls ever like upset. Like, oh, what? You, I don't have to have sex with you tonight. <laughs> uh, After well, a few years. The fact is, I used it like twice, and I was like, I do not. Like, I just jerk off. 
Yeah. I don't Honestly, have to really clean anything. Yeah, we don't need right jerking hand to God. I'm right with you. I mean, it yeah. works great. Yeah. My left hand's a little sloppy, but it still drunk, does the job. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm drunk, hand. I'm like, this is how a drunk girl would be. You know what I mean? <laughs> If I, this is how it would be if I was a drunk girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. But, but she consented. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was drunker than her. Let's say that. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. God, my voice is going out. Yeah, there. dude, you are all over the place. Yeah, at least you're not here for a comedy show. Right? I know. Yeah, right. At least you don't have to perform tonight or anything. But like seven minutes. I barely. They might let you go along. Who's featuring? Do you know? Him. I thought you were all mm-hmm. right then. It says you do. Usually it's just us? A lot of times Bro, it's just Bro, do 15. One. I can do 15. Do 15. That oh, shit on Fuck yeah. If it's go. just me and you, do 15, bro. No, shit Who told you seven? I did originally because I thought it was a good guest spot because uh, she wanted me to headline, but I assumed it would be like- I mean, usually there's no feature or opener for these. Usually it's just a headliner at the end of the mic. Oh, so. okay, okay. All right, well, let's see. Just do whatever feels right. Yeah. Do it. Read yeah. the room. 10 to 15, bro. Yeah. Seems fine. And Most of the micers yeah. are going to be doing 7 to 10. Yeah, that's insane that you guys let them go that long on a mic. There's eight of us. I guess, yeah. yeah dude, <laughs> Who gives him, a yeah, shit? Let him, <laughs> yeah. At that point, we're keeping people this in dude, the bar. Yeah. Here's, yeah. Here's, here's another reason why I love Brian. This is the last podcast we did. He told me, like, there's not enough comics here sometimes, so when I'm done with work or whatever, I'll just go there to make sure they don't lose that mic. Like, that's... <laughs> that's fucking... That's a real soldier, dude. Dude, the there's scene. some times where it's just, like, there's, like, three of us, and we're, like... So Netflix special, or? <laughs> <laughs> like who's got time? But it's yeah. always what I'm hosting. So nice. We lost one comic and the host not being there, and then yeah, then it's nothing. Then and it's no it. one shows up. Something like that. That happens too. Yeah. Well, and like the week before Thanksgiving, like that was oh, yeah. tough Dude, on that Monday. We did a show a couple weeks ago, but the night showed up. Sorry. Nice. Oh, the night. That's dope. It was pretty cool. We didn't have that. But everyone was doing long sets that night. It was me. It was the bully show. Oh. I had to go last, and I thought I was like, fuck yeah. Because the, the crowd was fucking packed uh-huh. when it first started. But then I realized, like, everyone was doing way too much time. Like, there were some people that left. And, like, when, when I got up, I was like, half of the audience was awake, and then the half just didn't care anymore. I was like, oh, I have to do crowd work now. Uh-huh. <laughs> if if it's packed in the beginning, sign up for it. Or try to go early. Yeah. Like, because unless it's, like, a like a big showcase that people if people paid it's a little different yeah that's what it was yeah but um yeah if it's a free show and it's packed in the beginning oh well you had to get tickets right well i don't know then they just did too much time everyone did what everyone did a lot of time like the person before me i only did 30 right but the person before me did 40 i'm like that doesn't make sense put him last then yeah that's (laughs) a lot of time it's a lot of time and there's there's only four comics on the show but everyone did like 20 to 30 there's a reason features do like 20 Yeah. yeah But everyone on that show could be a feature, so I'm not mad at like it's not like they couldn't do their time. It's just like, man, we should really cut people's time down, like all of us, because that's too much. Well, that's how we learn. Exactly. I never learned. But it's gonna be on the easy. album now, so I'm like upset about that. Because my whole set's just gonna be me trying to like wake up the audience. Uh, oh, it's on recording now, so yeah. I didn't get to do my material. Well, it probably will completely ruin your career. It will. You're right. Yeah, You're it's right. over. It's all yeah. downhill from. Have you met well, Elliot Weber? Yes, I like Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one time I was at a mic, and and granted this was just a mic, not a recording or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, I was all nervous, and he's like, hey, no matter what happens, doesn't mean shit for your career. <laughs> I was like. It's fucking true, man. You're right. Yep. You're right. Yep. And I've had a different fucking perception yep. ever since, but the worst case scenario with that album is people don't listen. <laughs> Exa- well, yeah. It's, it's not even worst case. It's just like in so case. That's probably. It's in case they but listen. But you're not even listen. burning material then. No. You're right. And plus, I'm not going to get canceled for that album. I'm going to get canceled for the Dave Chappelle joke tonight. That's what I'm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. So we should film it. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Go viral. Hey, Post yeah. Post it behind your back. Yeah. If you st- just freak out on stage. Just go just through a out. mental breakdown. You know, I'm not going to go Kramer freak out. Ah, you should, though. No. You should. Ah. There's a black dude over the, there every now and then. <laughs> ah. Well, I'll wait till he gets Is there. Is it the token one in Durango? No, we got a few. Oh, nice. Dude, when I was here, I didn't see any other Mexicans until uh, the show started on Saturday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Freaked me out. I'm not going to lie. I believe you. Yeah. I'm always just like, white people. And then there's white people that I'm like, Ugh, white there is a difference between all of them. Yeah. The the person in Benson that almost threatened to lynch you, you know? 
Yeah, that was crazy. I That's that. Yeah. Oh, that was before the show even started. That was probably oh, tight. Yeah, there was. I was. Uh, we were checking out venues uh, in the southern Arizona, just to do shows. Like we just wanted to start our own shows. Yeah. And uh, there's one in Benson, which turned out to be our most successful like monthly uh, show. It was fucking awesome. But um, when I was when we were checking the venue first for like how to set up shit, where you want to set shit up. My buddy Andrew was talking to this old dude, and I was like, oh, smart. Let's talk to the locals, see if they want comedy or whatever, you know? And uh, my buddy Andrew had an extension cord, <laughs> and I walk up, like, what's up, man? And the old dude goes, I know some people in Dixieland make a good use of that cord on you. I'm like, oh, shit, man. I'm what? Go. Oh, yeah, fuck. it's fucking crazy. That's on him. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but move. it doesn't matter. Like, they, they still came out to the shows, and it was fucking awesome. Like, we packed... There were two times where the police had to shut down the road because the bar was like crowded. Hell nice. Nice. Yeah, but it is so, Benson, and I'm it, glad he didn't hang you. Me too. Me too. I wouldn't be here to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Extension cord. That's that's gonna hurt. It's a happy racism story. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah. Still alive. <laughs> it's, a, it's a feel Anytime good. Anytime you make it out of it, it's a happy minutes. racism story. Okay. Agreed. But it, yeah. A lot of sad racism stories. I mean, there's, 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 there's a, bunch, a good amount of yeah, those. A lot of those. But not, not, I mean, it's not like I haven't experienced that shit either. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it, it's not, it's not, it doesn't change my fucking day to day. I'm still just a bum ass comic, <laughs> you right. know. Yep. Second that. And also, there, you know, every everyone can be a piece of shit. You don't have to be a certain color to be a piece of shit. No, for sure. Most of the people that scare me around here are white. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I actually told a homeless dude the other night. I just left a mic, and it was just like a rough time you know what I mean? <laughs> and i was walking around the corner to my truck and he was like hey man i got just got out of jail it's my birthday just dropped all these lines on me and i'm from the res like i've done yeah. this a lot yeah they started if, telling you you're their suicide if i was 16 you got me but <laughs> your boy's 31 done this a lot and at the end i was just like bro i just did a fucking free comedy show yeah. like that's what i do yeah and he was just like he almost got it. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh, my bad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to worry about no me. status right now. Uh, not yeah. even out here trying to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Doing shit for free. I'm out, I'm out here hoping for the idea of trying to get money one day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Do we have a sponsor for this? Modelo. <laughs> I was thinking whoever's reintroducing the wolves. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it going for them. For wolf emplacement. Wolf emplacement. Yeah. That is pretty crazy, so that's pretty controversial out here. I like, mean, a lot of the these news. people, like, I ask people on the podcast all the time because I'm just curious from people that live here, like, because yeah. they're, they're reintroduced. There's a lake 30 minutes away from here called Lemon Reservoir, mm -hmm. and they're reintroducing the wolves right behind it. It's yeah. like, it's, <laughs> it's hey, a, they're, just gonna, they're just gonna let them go out of cages, like, all right, yeah, shoo. It's a giant <laughs> go area, away. the Wiminooch. It's like a the big Wiminooch. ass area. But, like, we're not the population, we're not, like, the majority population. Like, people in the majority population areas, because it's a statewide vote. Oh. Oh. And then they decided that was the best place for them. <laughs> so they just think they're being cultured. Right. Yeah. I just, like, I'm concerned because it's right fucking there. Yeah. How many do you know what they're going to start the population? I don't. I don't. And don't. they're going to fuck like nothing else. Yeah. I mean, I plan on moving, hopefully, before... There's a giant population. Yeah. But well, I, I guess it depends on a lot of things. I, I think like in 50 years, maybe less, there's going to be a lot of stories in the paper about wolves fucking shit up. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah, it's, didn't there's, they've done that in like Wyoming and stuff, right? Yeah, Yellowstone. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. And it was did not end. And well. they're making their way south. I mean, we might have wolves here at that time anyway. Uh, and maybe the wolves here will go south. <laughs> Maybe Mexico's There's, nice, yeah. Or south. I don't know. I don't. Whatever. That, that oh, south that way. That way. <laughs> yeah, we can send Mexico all our wolves. We're not sending our best wolves though. <laughs> not our best wolves. <laughs> They're sending. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> they are not sending. We're not sending sweet our wolves. Best. Oh man, I hope people get that reference. Uh, that was that was solid, guys. That was a zinger. I think everyone got that reference. All right. right. Hopefully. It was a Trump reference. Yeah, no, yeah, you didn't need uh, to explain it. I know. I felt like Norm Macdonald there. It's like, oh, yeah, because it's Trump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Norm. Uh, Good old Norm. R.I.P. Well, how long has this been? Yeah, how long have we been recording, sir? We're over an hour. Are we? Nice. Yeah. 
Well, shit. That's usually about my target time. Yeah, this is a... It's a hard fucking art to go over that. <laughs> Unless you're goddamn Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. fucking tough. Like, there's a there's some podcasts I listen to that I'm just such a fan that, like, they help my day go by better. I'm cutting wood and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? When they end, I'm almost like, couldn't give me a little more, boys? Like, yeah. a little more would have been That's awesome. That's true. You know? True. And and they're trying to leave you wanting more. I get that. Yeah. Get them stuck. Get the sticky factor. Yeah, but exactly. Good shout out to anyone who's got like a successful podcast, like those yeah. motherfuckers, or anyone that's listening to this and this got a one. more labor job or a hard labor job. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. that! It's like, definitely for you degenerates. Oh, yeah. It's for the mechanics, the cheat trap, the cheat trappers. Is, yeah, this is choppers. this is for the Circle K clerks. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to QT. Oh, QT, QT. clerks. Uh, you guys just want to promote anything? QT. We should promote the show we're on tonight, so they'll miss it. Yeah. yeah, it was an awesome show. Yeah, yeah tonight is Starlight, uh, 8 p.m., open mic, 9 p.m. For these fuckers, um, you missed out. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was a, show. a fucking dragon showed up. A night slayed him. A night slayed him. And then Scooby we Doo and all Shaggy did Molly and Dan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then some wolves showed up at the end. Too. Yeah. And well, they parted with us. Yeah, that kind of sounds Molly like too. we did Molly before all this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that didn't really happen. We're yeah. just on drugs. We're going to the hey. mic on drugs. Well, thanks for the fucking podcast, man. Yeah, yeah thank you guys. It was okay. fucking awesome. Um, any, so no promotions? You all gravy? I mean, you got your album. That, when's that dropping? I don't know. I have no idea when that's coming out. We still got to mix it next week. And then um, oh. you got to go to the fucking studio and do all that shit. And, uh, um, well, all the... Social media and shit will be in the description. I'll find that Sweet. in the description. If you want to find it, just fucking scroll down scroll or whatever down. you yeah. gotta do. Follow us. Um, yeah, tell your friends. Uh, you know where to find us. Shout out to Ethan Asparza and the Chava people for the intro outro music. Thanks, I appreciate dudes. the free music and they gave me a variety of it, so I love <laughs> nice. that. Um, oh, and Dead Room Comedy, our one and only sponsors. Okie dokie. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Peace. Speaking to the masses, hit the road to do a show, microphone madness, trip easy, easy, cheap sunglasses, straight passion, my third eye active, watching backpacks, leave the show, beeping that shit, vocally, hearing me, locally, lyrically, know what I'm supposed to be and I don't got no fear of me, I'm coming for your brain, homie coming at you spiritually, stepped into the game and I knew that flow was slippery, but check my flow though, turn the whack news to history, let them do their thing instead, I put them out they misery, and simply put, just got disconnected, like my Boy, big money, man, this can't be neglected. Grab a mic and check it. Coming up in your direction. Gifted, I've been blessed with this hustle. is respected and reckless. Poetic mind on the set. It's got the groove to match. Everybody step with Still haven't fulfilled a whole vision yet. <laughs> Life right now still so picturesque. I'm rocking every stage until I get a bigger check. Even though our hate money ready for a bigger step. Pull the trigger next. Somebody coming at your neck. I could have died today. That's why I'm smoking cigarettes. I got precision set of skills. And imagination, creations, and innovating with motivation. I'm chasing my goals, the giants that I be racing. I'ma stride through the finish like a 6'5 Jamaican. Beat in my chest, like, yeah, what my name is. Ink on my chest, what? My homie spray paint in summer days. So, okay, PlayStation. He looking down on me, and I can't stay patient. I ain't just trying to say shit. Sit back and face this. Real tight vibe and smoke instrumental playlist. Chill in the cut. Now, these small places, I ain't getting love now, man. Fuck being famous today. Hard to make it. They don't understand I love being underestimated. Second guess it, and I'll take it that you're undereducated. Anyway, this got me thinking about them old records playing. Why it's filled with soul and it fills my mind. Self feather shaking while the rhythm takes flight. What I'm doing wrong, I ain't gonna fake right. I don't get no sleep because the music takes night. Nocturnal life with my basement lights. Just roll some nice, keep my drink on ice. If you don't get it once and you don't hear it twice, moving on this beat right here is out of sight. I'm a Stay away.